Hi guys, Barry from Confess Browse here, and today I'm going to be talking about my favourite web browser, which is Google Chrome. Uh, now, if you don't know, Chrome is uh, Google's uh, web browser, and it's generally regarded as being one of the best because it's really quick and it's got loads of amazing features in it. Today I'm going to be talking about some of those amazing features, uh, but I'm going to be doing it using Chrome Beta. Uh, now the reason why I'm using Chrome Beta is because, uh, like a lot of betas, it gets uh, really cool features uh, first before the official version. Um, and I've been using it for about a month now, and it's really, really stable. I haven't had any issues than I would do over the new, uh, the normal version of Google Chrome. So I've decided to use the beta because I want the newest and best features first. So to download the Chrome beta, yeah, you can go to this website here, which I'll post in the notes below, and you can download the Chrome beta. Uh, now it's worth keeping in mind that you can't install the beta and the original Chrome at the same time, so you will have to choose between one or the other. Um, now the first cool thing about this uh, new Google Chrome beta, and uh, by the way, a lot of these features are going to be beta exclusive, but some uh, will be in the standard version of Chrome. The first cool thing is the new tab page. They've uh, changed this and added a, a quite a considerable amount of features to this page, and it's actually become really, really useful. Uh, we're going to start in the middle of the screen here, where we have the main Google logo. And of course, you'll see the search box in the middle where you can start typing in a Google search query, but you've now got the option to search by voice, uh, and it actually worked amazingly well. Uh, there was a feature that was in there that was going to allow you to enable the voice search without actually clicking the button, but I haven't actually got that to work. Uh, down here, of course, we now have uh, a selection of most visited websites that we can easily go straight to. Up the top right hand corner, you're going to see a quite handy list of shortcuts on the side here. Uh, the first one is uh, Google Plus, which will take us to our um, Google Plus page. Uh, we've got a, a, a sort of a grid uh, of apps here, and if you click on it, it's actually going to bring a really nice drop down box of essentially Google Apps. Uh, now, there is a rumor that this Google Apps launcher is actually going to be available uh, as an application that you could download, for example, on your Mac and have it on your dock which will allow you to go straight to one of these services, but for the time being, it's inside the browser and kind of just uh, stops you having to perhaps add these as favorites in your bookmarks. Uh, we can click on more and show a few more, and then we can even click even more and show pretty much every Google product there is. And we've got the nice little bell to the side here, which of course is the Google Chrome, uh, sorry, the Google Plus notification bar, and of course we've got the sweet little uh, animation here uh, to say you're all caught up in your notifications. Uh, we've got a handy little share icon which will actually allow us to directly share uh, through Google Plus straight from the home page of Google Chrome now and it's the same share mechanism as is actually on the Google Plus page itself. And then of course at the top here you've got your account of which you can click on and change accounts if you so choose so. Going back to the search box in the middle, this is actually quite a cool feature. Uh, if we type in uh, something such as Android you can actually see that what happens is the search moves up to the top of the page here and actually starts typing in the top. Now, this is really interesting because it is essentially forcing people to recognize that this top bar at the very top here is no longer just used for URLs, www. It is the search field and it is everything. So that's why it moves it up to there. I actually quite like that. If I click OK and actually perform the search, you can see that it will perform the search and, and go onto the normal Google page that you would expect to see. And here we have it, the search is complete. What's really interesting on this page, this results page hasn't actually changed too much. You will notice a few changes, however. The search box to actually change or enter a new search is no longer at the top of the page here. It is actually in the URL bar up the top here. So this is, again, emphasizing more that this is the search bar. This is no longer just for entering URLs for websites. So this is what you put everything in. Um, the, on the side here, you can see there's a, a search for a search by voice icon, which will allow you to perform a new search using voice straight away. If we go back to the home page, you'll now see that there's a, a couple of uh, icons in the corner here. For example, apps. Now, what this essentially is going to do is it's going to take you to the apps page for Google Chrome that you would have perhaps seen on the new tab page before. Now, you may recognise this page as the apps page we saw before. Uh, and it's not just used for Google Apps like I've got here, but you can use it for games that you've gone, got from the Chrome Web Store or other utilities. However, for me, because I just mostly use this for Google Apps, 
the new feature on the home page, uh, the drop down menu I showed you earlier, is actually pretty much replacing this now, so I can't see myself using this uh, app's uh, toggle uh, anymore. Some other cool features that Google Chrome uh, beta and perhaps uh, rolling out soon to full Chrome uh, are things like media playback options uh, and sort of labs, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to close this tab now and I'm going to switch to uh, Google Music. Of course, Google Music and uh, All Access has just been released in the UK, so I've been starting to use it. There's a really cool lab feature which you can access just by clicking on the cog wheel here and then Music Labs. Essentially what this lab does is it's called desktop notifications. It essentially shows you a pop-up in the top right hand corner of your screen uh, when music changes or is paused or played. Um, so I've just enabled it there and once you enable it you can click save changes. I'm just going to pop back to my library here and I'm going to start playing uh, a song. And here you can see in the top right hand corner is this really nice notification that it pops up whenever a song is starting to be played. If I skip the track, then we get another notification at the top here to say what the track is. Of course if I was to click on it, it would show me, uh, take me back to the web page and show me what music is playing. Now on the topic of playing media in Google Chrome, it sometimes can be really frustrating to know which tab is playing uh, some sort of audio uh, from a video perhaps. Now this, if I demonstrate on this side, I've got the Verge podcast up here. If I click play on this podcast, it's going to start playing. And you notice that in the top here, uh, it's put a, a little play icon on the tab at the top. And this is really handy for if I'm on a different tab, I can still see behind it that that tab is playing audio. Now it doesn't work on everything at the moment. It definitely works on YouTube and, uh, and some other video streaming sites, but it doesn't work on everything. And I hope it gets some slightly more compatibility later on. But it's just really good for seeing which tab is playing. Lastly, of course, uh, I want to point out things like uh, extensions that you can get for Google Chrome. I'm personally using the ad blocker extension, um, which allows you to block adverts from things like uh, TV shows you may watch online, and it works really well. It very, very rarely uh, doesn't pick up on adverts um, that you get streams, so it's really handy to get around those. Uh, Google Hangouts, uh, desktop notifications, uh, and of course the Google Chromecast extension uh, I've already installed that, ready for down, uh, buying my Google Chromecast when it finally hits the UK, so I can start using it immediately. So overall guys, this is the Google Chrome beta um, for the Mac OS, uh, with some really cool features that you should check out, uh, and Barry from Coffee vs Glass, and I'll catch you guys later.